honestly, it kind of baffles me. You know, a lot of people say to me, you know, how can you have a business um, as somebody that's not native to the places where they're going to, you know? How is your business isn't Argentine owned or South American owned and all of this stuff. I think those people are definitely failing to, to there's a lot of irony in that statement, you know? I mean, I'm not gonna talk too much about myself, but I want to talk about other businesses that are Argentine owned and why it is so important to buy from stores that you are 100% sure that that money is going to South America, you know? What I mean is that they're supplying handmade products made by artisans from South America because, you know, I've been in this business for a while and uh, I know what the prices are like, I know how you know getting supplies is i know all this stuff like the back of my hand now and to be honest there is no reason that a business should be supplying mass manufactured products from china in a factory um especially when it relates to mate as a custom um to their clients in the uk or, or europe and the grand majority of other businesses that exist in the uk and, and in in europe that i've seen are, are not selling artisanal products uh, by any means. <sighs> I've done the calculations, I've done the maths, and these, you know, you can get these at a really good price. Sell from Argentina, these artisanal products. Sell them at a really good price, and in doing so, you are helping somebody, um, you know, financially. Um, because a lot of these people, they say, you know, it's really important to buy from, from, from a business that's, Argentine owned and I fully understand that sentiment to a certain extent Okay, so this person has left their home country and gone to uh, Let's call it the first world or whatever you want to call it and they've started up their own business Amazing and they're they're taking their customs and they're exporting it to the world. Brilliant. Amazing. Great stuff What happens next? Well, if that person is uh, You know not using i mean if i could make the context as somebody who has no like inherent connection to argentina it's just something that um came about through the way my life played out um you know it was a thousand times harder for me than it would be for anybody that's from those nations and yet they choose to go with mass manufactured products i don't understand it because you have escaped maybe financial hardship by coming to the first world and all of that, amazing, but you left your people behind in the process. Like you could do your, you know, you're not gonna change the world, but you could do your little bit for other people. Um, and that's what I, I'm really trying to do with this business, you know? Uh, I'm just gonna say how it is. People are gonna hate on me for this and that's fine. I don't care um, because I know in my heart that I'm doing the right thing. Um, so yeah, I just ask, if, you know, clients that if you're buying, you know, Mate, God's scores, whatever, just be just be conscious about, you know, the origins of them. Because well I mean like there's irony in the fact that you know this shirt, these shorts, everything I'm wearing was made in China, you know. Um, but when it comes to things like this, you know, I, I think we can be uh, we can do better man, like you know, and I'm not saying no other store offers other than mine, like artisanal products that are made in South America, because that's not true, they do but not all of them in fact i would say it's it's definitely the harder path than to just import stuff from china and so i would say that to be honest like you know the, the majority don't um and so yeah I, I, it really does pain me to see this because not only all of the stuff i've just mentioned but also because of the fact that that is a custom you know that's such a you know culturally valuable thing and it's so important that we protect those roots um and i would say that you know if you, these you know craftsmanship is inherent to this custom um and mass manufactured products they just don't you know even this i mean it came from argentina originally you know it's not a uh, necessarily a crafted gourd it was made in argentina though I think that is, you know, 
the most important thing. So yeah, um, just to share that, I, I hope people understand where I'm coming from and that we can actually, you know, start to change things because I, I really think that we need to see a shift in this because the way it's going, uh, it's gonna change Mati as a custom forever. And it shouldn't be that way. You know, uh, we really need to take care uh, with these things. So yeah. I wish you all the best. Um, not that this comes from a place of love. I'm not doing this to, you know, for any other reason than just to spread this message with people that perhaps didn't realize this stuff. Um, so yeah, wish you all the best um, and enjoy your math.